that's Jackson and he's on his beloved crazy cart shift which he got for Christmas he absolutely adores it the only problem is you can't really drift it in our house without destroying the furniture which he's done on several occasions uh, and you can't even put it through its paces here in his local cul-de-sac which is just about the only place he gets to to, to stretch its legs so I've always wanted to get it to a venue where you can really see what this thing is capable of so I called a friend of mine who runs an event space called Printworks which used to be home to the Evening Standard newspaper and it's a series of sort of warehouses all joined together he very kindly gave us a go ahead for a shoot and so a couple of weeks ago we packed up the VW and we headed to East London where's he gone he's vanished oh there he is so, Crazy Cart Shift, a drifting dream machine for a pre-teen. A simple point and slide evolution of its older Crazy Cart sibling, but without the drift stick. Flatline top speed is about eight miles an hour, but it feels a lot quicker. And it's got a quick charge runtime of about 40 minutes. I've driven it and it's utterly brilliant and completely addictive. But with Jackson bossing the shift, what was I gonna bring to the party? Enter the Volts Drift Trike, a one-off custom drift-eating monster. If you can find the grip, its 2.5 kilowatt electric hub motor will get you up to 30 miles an hour very quickly. Its two rear wheels are straight off a go-kart and have super slippery plastic sleeves for extra glide. That's a custom-made aluminium frame, Hope front brakes with BMX handlebars and a twist grip throttle. And it's custom mapped by Dave at Volts to get the perfect power curve and traction. It's got three speeds, but I'm ignoring the first two and going straight for insane mode. Okay, first challenge is uh, over to there, round the yellow post, uh, round here, round the washing bucket thing, uh, traverse with a beautiful glide, controlled, all right, no spinning out, round the stairs, past the water bottle, then reverse into the section with the uh, barriers. So first or quickest to traverse the course then roll back in between the barriers is the winner. speed of the volts could be its downfall in this challenge so I'm not drifting too wide instead I'm going for control or not oh. all right I'm not too famous for health and safety all right you know that okay let's do it <laughs> Jackson showing the precision that the shift is famous for. Little crowd pleasing spin for the crowd there. Why not? Come on, my boy! Right in close, right in the neck! Get in the mouth! Oh! 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 my god! I'm so So basically this is the only time section. We both leave from the same part. We do a slide and run the posts. We, uh, we come around that final bit. We have to do a donut around those, uh, that ring of lights. Yeah. Um, uh, we then come down the red lights in that direction and you have to do the most creative smash up of the bottles. Be artistic, be expressive, all right? And yeah. you can dab if you like, if that's, that's what you want to do. Head five. Nice. Fish five. Fish five. Fish, yeah, whatever the kids are doing now. Three, two, one, go! 
Jackson needs this round to stay in contention, and I'm guessing that's why he chooses to temper his drift around the first corner. He's not holding back on the donut section though, keeping that back end out with controlled jabs on the foot pedal. And there it is, first attempt and a perfect bottle smash. Yes! Three, two, one. The less we say about my effort, the better. Jackson's dinky little drifter, clearly the best choice for the tight Challenge 2 course. So one round each going into the third and final stage. Four laps of this warehouse with a loop around the pillars at either end and a quick diversion between laps in and out of a side annex. I was confident that as long as I didn't spin out, the superior power of the vaults would deliver me victory. That is, until this happened. Hopefully it's something simple. I hope so, mate. What's that thing on the right hand side? Like the, the the t it's one, zero, and two, a little rocker switch. Oh, has anyone touched that? Well, I have now, but I hadn't done. Right, try it in different positions. Excuse me. Which position should the left one under my thumb be? Up? I believe so, yeah. Thanks, mate, it's working. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. I did try that. I tried it earlier. No, I did, honestly. We I'm very happy now. The entire shoot would have fallen to pieces. We'd have come all this way, like a whole day's <laughs> prep. You know, seven people, drones, police helicopters, dog walking, bread making, all for nothing. Bit of disaster. <sighs> Ooh. Ooh. Nail stops play momentarily. This is what happens when you shoot in a post-apocalyptic industrial landscape, Jax. You get things like nails in your tire. There you go. Look, even, it's even screwed it in there. I mean, that, that, what are the chances of that? Oh, wow! It's like it wasn't even there. Ready? Yeah. Let's get this challenge back on. Both me and Jackson had an absolute riot drifting on this smooth concrete floor. It's the kind of space that motorised flatland track drifters fantasise about. The shift held its own when cornering keeping tight arcs around the pillars and then snapping back to attention on the straights. But the superior throttle power of the vaults ultimately gave me the win. What did you think, dude? Enjoy it? Yeah, it was awesome. You were wicked. And so was the Crazy Cart Shift, which I think of the two vehicles was the best in the tight confines, all right? In the, uh, the more confined spaces. It just didn't have the pace at the end. And unfortunately, you just couldn't quite nail that reverse manoeuvre in challenge one, all right? Yeah. But there is a kind of phantom challenge four that we need your help with, and it's down to skills, all right? Who had the best skills? Spelt with a Z. Who did the best manoeuvre? If you think it was me, if you think it was me, then say so in the comments section. If you think it was Jackson, uh, say so, but use examples, okay? Um, show an example of what you think represented the most skillful manoeuvre over the three challenges and you could still salvage the draw. Sound fair? Yeah. Thank you. Obviously, if you're going to comment, you might as well give us a favourite. What do you reckon? Yeah? Uh, maybe even a subscription, you know? I mean... Subscribe! Yeah. Well, I mean, we're not desperate, are we? Maybe a little bit. So no, we need your subscription because we're trying to grow something here. We want your help with it. Do you reckon they need some persuading? Yeah. Go on then, do it. Three sets of these incredible C-Sense lights. You're covering the, there you are. 
which were given to us by C-Sense for that shoot to make those amazing light effects. We'll give three sets away, one each to those that subscribe. So if you subscribe to the channel, uh, I'll do a random thing. I'll select three new subscribers and I'll chuck these lights at you. That's fair, right? Yeah. It's bribery, but it's, it's a fair form of bribery. Keep it real, yeah? Keep it tuned. What does that even mean? Keep it west side. We're not even in the west. We're, I mean, we're, we're sort of slightly southwest. Yeah? That, that, that's like an at sign. That's not even a, like a gang, an at sign, like a very social media aware gang. Is that, even, is that even cool? I don't know. Is it sensible? Probably not to advertise yourself if you're a gang on social media. Very nice. Bye.